All right, so the last bit of thing we're going to be going over here for uh, the Elder Scrolls Online on stream as part of our little React Andy series is that Ink Pig, Inky, sorry, Icky Piggy, <laughs> Inky, <laughs> Icky Piggy, Icky, I'm sorry, Icky and other healers from Healers Haven Discord server uh, posted this in the ESOU Discord server, okay? And this actually reminds me a lot about how I and other people got together to test um, certain things in the game because ESO tends to have a lot of esoteric combat information and they have an entire one hour, 11 minute video going over what they're testing here. I remember doing this for like the synergies and how many people synergies affect and all that. So it's really cool to see some old fashioned, you know, down to earth testing for the other Souls online. And this pertains specifically to how healing works in ESO, something often overlooked I feel like compared to like DPSing or even tanking in certain instances. Uh, but this is how healing actually works apparently in ESO. Icky says, recently, some of us conducted a test on healing, targeting prioritization in Healer's Haven, and we would like to share the results. Hopefully, if people are unhappy with the inconsistency of skill behaviors, they can maybe write something in the forums to get Zoss's attention. Number one. Players are assigned healing priority in order in which they arrive to an instance. Oh my God, that's terrible. AKA, dude, that's crazy. That means you, dude, that means you need to not be late to raid and just get in the instance. Get in the instance. Come on, buddy. You're late to raid. You gotta be 15 minutes early. All right, so almost all healing will prioritize the earliest six players who arrive. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible, dude. Actually, that's pretty awesome because it's like, if you're late to rate, fuck you. Oh my God. No way. I, dude, this game, listen, I played this, I have played ESO for like the past, like since beta, for, for, for the past decade, essentially. And I just looked at this. I'm just like thinking back to all the all the people, all those deaths. I'm just like that kind of might explain some things. Holy crap! <laughs> but also, it's like, man, what is this? What is this coding, dude? Okay, um, all AOE bursts do smart target the allies with lowest percentage of health. But if all players are at full health, burst heals will go to the highest instance priority targets. That's crazy, dude, what? Almost all AOE healing over time skills are sticky on players once they select their targets within the range of the skill. What? If no one has taken any damage, for example, Healing Springs will select the six players the highest healing priority, which is based on instance arrival order, and it stays on them the entire duration. If a player is not at full health, he is assigned the highest healing priority. For example, if he casts the Healing Springs in the group, Healing Springs will now select the person not at full health, plus the five highest instance priority targets. Healing Springs will stick on these targets for the entire duration. Okay, if a player who's already getting healed leaves the AoE ground hot, uh, remaining healing ticks go to the next person highest on the priority list. Number five, majority of the AoE healing over time skills only smart target on cast and not on tick. For example, if someone takes damage during a fight, but he isn't among the six targets, a healing skill already picked when it's casting, he still won't receive any healing from said skill. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. This person is making these claims. Where's the proof? Proof? They have a one hour and 11 minute video testing all this, and these are all in-game players and in-game healers. So I, I trust them. It's basically the same kind of way we tested synergies back in the day and found out like how certain synergies worked with however number of players. This is crazy though. I mean, this this honestly, the the fact that it works like this in ESO and we never really bothered testing it exactly. I think we just kind of took it for granted and just was like, yeah, it's gonna work, right? Uh, whatever. It's, it's it's just how it works, dude. You just stay in the healing. Just stay in the healing, brother. <laughs> All right. So there are limited. Okay. There are limited exceptions to the above-mentioned point. 
Okay. Illustrious Healing Morph, smart target every tick. Purifying Light, smart target every tick. Power Surge, smart target every tick. Torchbearer with Healing Focus, smart target every sweep. Mortal Coil and Braided Tether heals all 12 as long as they're in range. So these skills are the exception to, to this. Okay. Mender's Bond, still proximity based and not smart. Healing skills has two components, a burst steel plus hot will have target different target selections at those two moments. E.g. budding seed smart targets when it's casted, and when the burst heal happen ha the burst heal happens. Okay. Hot and burst heal can go on different targets. Okay. All AoE heals from Arcanist, such as Cas Cascading Fortune, Curative Surge, Reconstructed Domain, do not smart target in any ways. Might be unintended bug, which will submit a feedback to Zaz. Okay, disclaimer, we are unsure if the different behaviors of skills are intended to be this way, and we'll submit this test result to Zaz. Behavior of skills might change in the future. Be sure to test again if you have any doubts. So, okay, they got together for about an hour 11. Tested everything. I assume they also reset the order in which people arrive to the instance, because this is a house. Okay, so they also tested the proximity based healing. So, okay, I mean, the biggest takeaway from this is that players, okay, one of the biggest takeaways is that players assign healing priority in the order in which they arrive to an instance. That's crazy, dude. Just don't be late to group. Just don't be late to the instance. Just don't be late to raid. Come on, man. You know, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> So how do we optimize this? Tanks in first for guaranteed first heals. You know, that's a really good point you bring up because I didn't even think of that. I was just thinking to myself, this is this is freaking hilarious. But uh, I would say, honestly, for sure, I think tanks. You know, this kind of explains some of the Sunspire healing incidents. Oh my God. Okay. It would have to be a priority of people who needs to be who need to be healed out of mechanics or who need to be healed through mechanics. It would have to be, of course, probably maybe depends on the content, right? It would have to be at least one of the tanks of the first six people. Um, I would also kind of prioritize the players that are like not as experienced as the others. So I think I think the most experienced players should probably be the last priority. At least for DPS, right? Like I, I think I think that's that's a fair call to make. This is crazy. I wonder if it's always been like this. I mean again, we've tested a lot of things in ESO. Um I've tested a lot of things and made videos about it. Many other creators and and gamers have tested many things, but I think this is the first time actually I just realized where we just didn't test how how the basic healing worked. <laughs> At least for like instance instances, right? I, I think we kind of know how it works for Cyrodiil, or unless, dude, what if? Oh my god, what if it works the same way for Cyrodiil? What if it like what if you're the first one in Cyrodiil at like 5 a.m. in the morning? Right? And what if all your faction healing just like prioritizes you? Is that do you think that do you think that would like <laughs> Yo, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. I know there's a lot of text in chat, but I'm serious. What if it works like that, dude? What if? Because Cyrodiil is an instance. It's, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, dude. Okay, so you, okay. For sure, guys, number one advice, get an SSD for ESO. You gotta always be the first one to load in. <laughs> I don't know. This is, I, I think this is crazy, dude. Honestly, this, this might be, this might be, uh, I don't know. It's funny, but also like a little mind blowing at the same time. I don't know. I'm oh, just saying. Fine. I guess you are my little uh, champ. Well, what, what, what do you guys think about this? 